Many types of pasta, noodles, bread, cereals, and breakfast foods contain a highly prominent sign saying gluten-free. And this prominence often gives the impression that gluten is a toxic chemical that might kill you. First, let us tell you that it's not true. Gluten is a protein that is naturally found in wheat, barley, and rye. Second, having gluten in your food is only a problem if you have gluten intolerance, which can manifest itself in three ways. Celiac disease, non-celiac gluten sensitivity, and wheat allergy. But how do you find out you were gluten intolerant? Of course, knowing about the signs and symptoms of gluten intolerance. And that's what we are going to show you in this video. Let's begin. Number 1. Abdominal pain. Anything that makes your stomach react or that your stomach can't break down often causes pain or other symptoms of indigestion. In the same way, having the same symptoms after eating foods with gluten could mean that you are gluten intolerant. In fact, an estimated 83% of gluten intolerant individuals experience discomfort and pain in the stomach. Apart from abdominal pain, this digestive discomfort can also show up in the form of nausea and vomiting. Before we move on, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. If you find our videos helpful, please support us by becoming a patron. Number 2. Bloating Although bloating can be due to a number of digestive disorders, such as irritable bowel syndrome, hormonal imbalances, certain medications, and sometimes even stress, literally anything that promotes the digestive contents and gas in your digestive tract may cause bloating. But if something similar happens to you quite often, after having certain cereals or breakfast bread, it could be due to your gluten sensitivity. Studies show that over 87% of gluten-sensitive individuals experience bloating after consuming a diet that contains gluten. So keep an eye out for symptoms that start after eating a certain kind of food. If the food causing symptoms has gluten, there's a high probability that you are gluten intolerant. Number 3. Diarrhea and Constipation People who have cellate disease, wheat allergies, or gluten intolerance are more likely to develop the symptoms of diarrhea or constipation more frequently than others. According to experts, around 50% of gluten intolerant people develop the symptoms of diarrhea, while over 25% of individuals may get constipation after gluten consumption. Both of these symptoms can sometimes be quite severe, especially in people who have celiac disease. Usually, this is because the bodies of such individuals have a tendency to treat gluten as if it were an enemy, resulting in a reaction that often causes inflammation in the small intestine. This, in turn, leads to poor nutrient absorption in the gut, resulting in constipation or diarrhea. Number 4. Anxiety and Depression According to the studies, around 40% of people with gluten intolerance were found to experience anxiety more frequently than others. Other similar studies found that many gluten-sensitive people reported significant relief from depression symptoms after following gluten-free diets on a regular basis. Both these studies indicate that having gluten intolerance is also closely associated with the symptoms of depression and anxiety. Therefore, if you often experience nervousness, uneasiness, and feelings of being worried without any reasonable explanation, you should consider the possibility that these could be signs and symptoms of gluten intolerance. Number 5. Fatigue Feeling tired after going through a hectic work routine seems quite normal. But feeling tired all the time, without any obvious reason, could also be a sign of gluten intolerance. Studies show that people with gluten intolerance are more likely to experience fatigue than others. As a matter of fact, a study involving 486 individuals with gluten intolerance showed that over 60% of them often experienced fatigue or tiredness. If you think that the same is happening to you as well, you should really get yourself checked, for it could be due to a number of health issues, including gluten sensitivity. Number 6. Skin Issues Although many skin issues, such as itching, redness, and inflammation, can be mostly due to free radical damage on the skin or certain types of infections. Experts have observed that sometimes these symptoms show up in persons who have gluten intolerance. Gluten intolerance caused by celiac disease 
has also been linked to skin infections such as psoriasis, which causes inflammation and redness on the skin, and dermatitis herpetiformis, which causes intense itching and blisters on the skin. Considering these factors, if you are experiencing unexplained rashes, inflammation, or blisters on the skin, you should seek medical help, for it could be a sign of gluten intolerance. Number 7. Headaches Did you know that migraine is one of the most common types of headaches, and that one in every six Americans suffers from one or more migraine attacks? According to research, people who have non-celiac gluten intolerance are more likely to suffer from migraines and do so more frequently than others. So if you often experience headaches without any obvious reason, it could be a sign that you are sensitive to gluten. Or if you have a headache after eating a certain kind of food, check for the presence of gluten in it. Number 8. Numbness in the arms or legs Certain heart conditions, diabetes, and vitamin B12 deficiency are among the most common causes of neuropathy. However, experts have found that individuals with gluten sensitivity may also experience numbness or tingling in their arms or legs. Experts say that this is probably due to the presence of certain antibodies that our immune system produces to fight gluten, particularly in people with celiac disease. Number 9. Pain in muscles or joints Sometimes, the symptoms of gluten intolerance are also characterized by inflammation in joints and muscles, leading to unexplained pain in the body. In fact, there is a special type of neuron, called sensory neuron, that recognizes the sense of pain. According to the experts, the reactions triggered by the body due to gluten sensitivity tend to interfere with the function of these neurons, resulting in muscular or joint pain. So yes, you should also look out for unexplained aches in the body, as they could be a sign of your gluten intolerance. Number 10. Weight Loss During a study conducted on patients with celiac disease, it was observed that around 75% of these patients lost their weight in a six-month span. Most probably, this is because gluten intolerance tends to cause a number of digestive disorders, including poor absorption of nutrients in the body, inflammation in the stomach and intestines, diarrhea, or constipation. Considering all these factors, we can say that unexplained weight loss can be a sign of gluten sensitivity or gluten intolerance. Number 11. Iron Deficiency Anemia Iron deficiency is among the most common types of nutrient deficiency and is responsible for over 50% of cases of anemia worldwide. People suffering from cellate disease are more likely to develop an iron deficiency in their blood as compared to others. Perhaps this is due to the fact that they are more prone to developing inflammation in the small intestine, leading to poor absorption of nutrients such as iron. This iron deficiency can also contribute to the severity of other signs and symptoms that you have seen in this video, including headaches, fatigue, numbness, and weight loss. So it's very important to know about the signs and symptoms of gluten intolerance, since it can give rise to a variety of serious health issues. Number 12. Brain Fog Experts observe that nearly 40% of the people diagnosed with gluten intolerance self-reported that they were experiencing difficulties in thinking, concentrating, and remembering things. Although the exact reason for these signs of gluten intolerance is unknown, experts think that this could be due to the reaction of certain antibodies in gluten. Therefore, it seems best if you keep an eye on these signs and symptoms of gluten intolerance and see if having a diet that contains gluten might be causing them. If so, don't hesitate to go to your health specialist for a proper diagnosis and treatment. Thank you for watching and subscribing to the channel. We'll see you in the next video.